Oh, it's you again. Can't we your lunch? Oh, I'm not hungry. I'm always the same when I've met someone. That boring old Brian. You could do better than him. I have got a good feeling about him. The way we met was so natural. Do you remember when Carrie Bradshaw dropped her handbag and Big helped to pick it all up? I've never been Brian. He's got a clicky here. Oh, well, I know his wee clicky very nicely, thank you. I've always admired teachers. Thirty odd kids in the palm of your hand. I mean, orders in approximately. Though the law of averages says you're bound to get a few weirdos. Julia, don't you think he's a bit old for you? Oh, I like the man to be older. And do you like the man to be married? Separated? Margaret's left him. Oh, yeah, I wonder why. Because the spark's gone. News flash, people change. I don't want to have to tell you this, but there were rumours that he'd slept with a pupil. <gasps> no! Yeah! Well, no wonder him and John get on so well. I've given up two free periods to come here. It's much appreciated. Hot chocolate, fiendish Sudoku, comfiest chair in the staff room, all gone for a burden. Well, I'm sure we've got a tin of hot chocolate in the back. Telephone's a wonderful invention, John. I've learned to be very careful about what I say on the phone. Oh, visit me the other. Well, um, Julie, actually. What, my Julie? The woman you know for all the 24 hours, yes. Luminous smile, hourglass figure. I've only hit the jackpot. And what about your Margaret? Oh, dead in the water. I've been in the box room since Whit Sunday. Look. Brian. Good childbearing nips and all my Julie. <laughs> Not that I've got the energy to be chasing after nippers. And your old teaching push off kids for life. <laughs> it's a big ask. What? It's a big ask. But I need you to cancel your date with Julie. It's too risky. For me and for Fizz. She works with Julie. Julie knows me as John State. And you slipped up last night. You nearly called me do you know what. <laughs> Hold up. Firstly. Shame on you, sir. Ask is a verb, not a noun. Thought better of you. Secondly, dream on. I've ironed my shirt, I've polished my shoes, I'm hot to trot. You don't understand. Fizz and I lead very compartmentalised lives. It's the only way we can feel safe. Is it really that bad? We know we can't relax into friendships, share confidences, get sloshed. Don't worry, work, John boy. It's the price I have to pay. I was going to take her to Far Fusion, splash the cash. She fancies me rotten. I'm not exactly beating him off with a stick. Hey, but, but plenty of girls will go for you. Yeah. Pavement crackers. What happens if you call me Colin again? I won't. What happens if you get drunk? I conk out when I'm drunk. Margaret reckons I'm type 2 diabetes. Oh, come on, I'm begging you here. Please, just tell me that you cancelled Julie. Oh, it seems such a waste. We're talking about the safety of my wife and unborn child. OK. Only for you, John boy. Can't have been much fun witnessing that murder. Oh, oh. sorry. Mission unaccomplished. But I told her he was on day release from death row, she'd still be going on a date with him. Well, when she switches the phone on, she will find that Brian has blown her out. <gasps> oh, the relief. Just please make sure he stays away. <clears throat> My blood pressure can't cope. Oh, and um, Julie, it's me. Look, I know you might be feeling a bit fed up, but me and John are in the Rovers, if you fancy. Eh? So just give me a ring or bob me a text. Let me know you're OK, yeah? Mm, voicemail. I gathered. What? Well, how do you know she's fed up? Because Brian's blown her out. Yeah, and we're not supposed to know that. Brian said he'd keep me out of it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm not quite mastered the art of telling whoppers. Cheers, Betty. Okay. Oh, could be Julie. Oh, no, Maria. Is it factory Julie you're after? Oh, yeah, has she been in? Well, she's out on a date. She's not been gone long. Oh, she was done up lovely. But she always does make the effort, doesn't she? Mm. Yes, love. Far Fusion said he was going to splash the cash. Come on. What, what are we going to do when we get there? I don't know. Think on our feet. Contain it. It's all doable. This place has been on my wish list for months. I've gone to the top of the class, Mr. Packham. Oh, oh Mr. Packham and guest. Please wait, please, sir. Oh. I like a bit of fusion cuisine myself. So. What else is on this wish list? All sorts. It's more about the experience than actual things. Like what? Come on, don't be bashful. Hold a piglet. Oh. I've always wanted to hold a piglet in my arms. Couldn't you go to a city farm or something? Mm. Right to Jamie Oliver's back. I know. I've been very lax about making that one happen. What else? Oh, um, time travel. So I could go on a date with a young Oliver Reed. Tea time-ish, preferably, so we could string a sentence together. So you like your men good looking, then? No, no, no point. Oh, I mean, uh, nice looking. I 
else I wouldn't be here now. Good save. Oh, you've got a lovely face, Brian. Kind and wise. And minimal thread veins. Tell me one more. To see the flat iron building in New York. So majestic. Oh, I'd love to bite into the Big Apple. <laughs> but for now, I'll make do with the poster. Brian, you're staring. I'm just drinking you in. Oh. Mm. Yeah, can we... oh, uh -huh. I've got to have this one. Sorry. This way, please, sir. Thank you. Do you fancy sharing some prawn balls? Mm. Just a few more minutes, Squire. If I'm a bit self-conscious, Brian, it's because I wasn't expecting the whole double dating thing. Me neither. We had the munchies. Thought it might be good fun. Oh, that's a bit of a U-turn. Fizz spent most of today trying to put me off you. Did she buy Jingo? It's a bit rich, isn't it? John. I'm just a bit protective of her. The stuff she came out with does not bear repeating. Try me. Oh, I was winding her up. Excuse me. Come up to the um. Good idea. Hey, I tell you what, um, when you get back, Fizz and I will have gone. We'll leave you a bottle of wine. Our treat. Yeah. Yeah, we won't want to cramp your style. Bye then. Have a bottle. You've only been away from the classroom two minutes. Uh, uh, we always used to say that furniture sweatshop was like school, eh, Brian? <laughs> we did, John. We did. Oh, yeah. It's all doable. Oh, might be wifey. Hello? Uh, uh, no, this is a waiter, madam. I think the gentleman you're after has just gone to the restroom. Well, it was ringing, and I thought it might be urgent, so... No, no, he's not alone, no. Blonde. Far fusion. Just behind Kendall's, yes. Oh, will you be joining them for dessert? Hello? Come on, let's get out of here. Put put? I don't believe it. What? I call it put put. You're not a Tory, are you? Labour till I die. I knew it. I know your pud pud and all. Careful, there's a couple of red herrings in there. Pa! Come on then, name my pud pud. Creme brulee. Oh, <laughs> Miss Judy, I'm afraid Cupid's hit a main artery. Mm. <laughs> Margaret? Margaret? As in Margaret? Oh, she knows I exist then. Uh, Judy is a mate of uh, co John's, an old colleague. There was a whole bunch of us, one big platonic bunch of workmates and colleagues. And... You're not separated at all. His brain's separated from his unmentionable. Before you go off at the deep end, nothing's happened. Tell her, Julie. We've had a nice bite to eat and a gab. But... I'm sorry, Margaret. I'm not in the habit of dating married men. You say you're welcome to him, but you seem quite nice. Oh, he's all yours. You know what they say in those consumer programmes? If something looks too good to be true, it probably is. Too good to be true, that. Julie, love, book yourself an eye test and a course of self-esteem lessons. Hey, it's not her fault you're living a lie. She can do a lot better than Brian. Oh, great. Do not take one up the duff. Do you want me to give you head massage? I want you to stop giving me migraines in the first place, John. I'm sorry. You don't need all this stress. Can't be good for the baby, either. Mm -hmm. Disaster averted, Fizzbomb. Only just. I've got the munchies. Fancy a bowl of cereal? No, I, I'll get it. You stay put. Mm. Julie, down to a penny. Should I say you're in bed? No, no, let her in. She has no luck, that girl. <clears throat> Margaret's kicked me out. For real this time. Why? What happened? Customer service has done me in. How do you mean? Some slimy waiter answered me phone while I was in the loo. Sang like a flaming canary. With Julie? With Julie. But you can't just give up on your marriage, Brian. You've got to fight for it, haven't you, John? Yeah, whatever it takes. Margaret will be feeling humiliated. She, she, she just needs you to wriggle on the hook for a while. <sighs> With my sciatica. Me and Margaret, finito benito. Now, be all right, I know you. You've got a couple of pillows I could cry into. What are you do? Oh, I thought that was Schmeichel. If I was Schmeichel, I'd sue you for slander. What was I supposed to do, Fizz? I couldn't let him sleep on the streets. I could sleep on the viaduct, that fella, at rush hour. See what I mean? Must be wonderful. Put a bomb under him. Don't tempt me. I've gone for green for tranquility. I need positivity after the... Like... 
What's he doing here? Look, we're not taking sides. This is a curveball, Fizz. His wife's kicked him out. On account of me? It doesn't matter why. Because you'll not be clapping eyes on him again. Isn't that right, John? Well, um, That's um, the sound John makes when he's agreeing with me. Right, so it is deep breaths all round and off to work we go. <laughs> Did you? Every word. How long have you been with Fizz? Three years, give or take. Feels like forever. <sighs> You're in the first flush. Hardly. I mean it. Places to explore, stories still to hear. <laughs> Secrets to uncover. <clears throat> uh, marmalade. After 20 years of marriage, I know exactly what Margaret's going to order in a restaurant and where she's going to plonk her freezing feet in the bed at night and her hands if she's had a glass of rosé. Yeah, well... And what she's going to say and when she's going to say it. She seemed to take you by surprise last night. Exception that proves the rule, son. I, th I thought you had a fairly jolly social life. Oh, I'm allowed out with the husbands of her pals. But are they not your pals? My pals were kicked into the long grass one by one. I didn't notice at the time. Uh, Bill was stingy, Doug was snooty, and Smidger was... It called Smidger. Well, there's always friends reunited. Good old director inquiries. Never too late. <laughs> Maybe. I know I look a bit clapped out, but inside I'm still a lean, mean, rocky machine. Well, then get out there and prove it to Margaret and her mates. Make a fresh start today. I wouldn't mind going around the Cape of Good Hope. Mm. Go for it. Truth is, Colin. John. John. Truth is, I've run out of shipmates. And I think I've missed the boat. No. You, buddy, are my only port in a storm. What is it? We've only got two minutes. Carl's in a right strap. I didn't want to tell you by texting. It is. I weren't expecting you. I'd mind. Brian. Driving school. Well, I can passionately leave here in the circumstances. Play me cards right, I can spin this out till I've turned. Brian's been making himself useful. But not behind the counter, obviously. After the business with Lewis. But he has tested all the pens for me, rehung the fixtures board, up and polished all the screens. Great, what next? Uh, treat myself to a flutter, I think. Certainly touch lucky on a knock on your door. When your wife kicked you out. I, I, I've been thinking about that. You can't just dissolve a marriage overnight. Been on the cars for years. Yeah, well, all the same, you need to talk to Margaret. Shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted, because this horse has bolted towards a buxom young blonde of this parish. Julie! I'll be honest with you, Fizz. I'm Smith. You lied to her. Made a fool of her in front of a restaurant full of people. Time's a great healer. One bank on it. And I've got plenty of it. I'll go down on bended knee to make it up to her if I have to. Will you tell him or shall I? I'd be better coming from you. You know the expression bunny boiler? Well, that's Julie's middle name. <laughs> you won't laugh if you knew what we know. She wouldn't say boo to a goose. Huh? Where shall I start? The restraining order? Was that from the guy who didn't answer a text? Mark? Nice bloke. Ended up section. No, no. That was the one who booked a camping trip with his mates instead of a city break with her. I'm not proud of. Forget what Fizz says. Me and you, we could be good together. Brian, I don't want to be bitter and twisted by the time I get to your age. I want love and romance. I want a soulmate. What do you say we make a fresh start? Eh? Brian. Hiya. You'll never guess what. There's been a car crash on Victoria Street. Apparently, David Platt ran Graham thingy over. Graham from the butchers? Yeah. How do you know? Well, Eileen just told me. Claire dropped the kids over to hers and then went with Ashley to the hospital. 
By the way... Well, but they're not hurt, are they? No. But apparently Green's in a bad way, though. Um, by the That's way... It's awful! How's David? Um, I don't know. What's happened to Brian? Only I came round before... It... Well, in fact, I've been round a few times and he wasn't in. Oh! Well, he must have gone home, try and patch things up with his wife. Oh, I see. Right. Well, fine. Well, then. You were right. He obviously wasn't the one. Better off he left now than when little Lottie and Pedro were around. Lottie and Pedro? It's what I would have called them. If we'd been blessed. Oh, don't laugh! Well, they've only had one date and she's already got kids. I'm surprised she hadn't put a deposit down on a house. Anyway, it obviously worked, because he's not here. Yeah, thank goodness for that. <laughs> That's awful about that crash, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Must have fallen asleep. She gone yet? <gasps> you know, that really, really is a fruitcake. Maybe yeah, it was too good to be true. Did you get curry sauce on mine? Yes. I'd have gone myself, only I don't step out the door. Thing is, she won't give up, you know. You might be better off getting out of here. Well, yeah, but where? Do you know, I'm sure your wife would take you back there and you grovelled a bit. No, don't think so. Anyway, I'm too proud to beg. No, I'm best laying low here till Boiler Bunny cools off. You could sneak some supplies in. I'll give you a list. Just going to see a man about a dog. Might be some time to quote Scott. Oats. Sorry? Nothing. Right, that's it. What are you doing? Phoning his wife. Oh, hello. Is that Margaret? Hiya. Um, I'm Fizz Stape. I'm married to John, friend of Brian's. And I don't know if you know, but Brian's staying with us. Yeah, yeah, he told us you had. I just wanted to explain. You see that woman? She's a mate of mine and she's a bit mad, you know. She had this crush on Brian Wright, even though he told her he was married. So he invited her out for a meal, you know, just to let her down gently. But she wouldn't listen. She just flung herself at him. Well, yeah, yeah, I realise it must have looked like that, but it, honestly, honestly it wasn't. He's in bits, the poor thing. He can't sleep, he's in floods of tears. All he wants to do is make it all weird. Well, yeah, 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 I said that. Why don't you ring her, I said. He said, because she's right, I am not worthy of her. That woman means everything to me and I'm not fit to tie her shoelaces. Yeah, yeah, his exact words. Oh, Margaret, he sings your praises all the time. That's why I wondered if you could find it in your heart to forgive him. Well, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. OK, then. OK, bye. Well? She said she needs time to think. You played a blinder. Yeah, well, I learnt from the master, didn't I? Hang on a sec. <clears throat> it, it's the wife. She wants to take me back. That's brilliant. Do you reckon I should play out again? No. No, it's not worth the risk. <clears throat> Hiya, love. Yeah. I'll just pop my bags and I'll be there in a jiffy. <sighs> right, coast clear. <laughs> right, well, thanks. I know you probably think it's rude of me just upping and leaving like this. No, 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 not at all, no. Your marriage comes first. I'll tell you what, it does from now on. Once bitten, twice shy. Or better the dog you know than the dog you don't. Right. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, I was terrified he was going to change his mind. So was I. I feel elated, like I just won the lottery. Elated? Yeah, don't you? No, actually. I feel pretty rotten. John, I've just had to lie to me friend. I've lied to a woman I don't even know, all because of you. So don't you dare act like you're enjoying it. No, I'm sorry, I'm not honest. I'm just, um, I'm just relieved, that's all. And you're right, I should never have put you through all that. Mm. But it's over now, and I promise... Don't, don't say anything. 
Let's just get back to our lives, eh? Pretend none of it ever happened. OK. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> At least we've got our couch back. Mm. No, no, please! I'll get rid of him. I promise he will not set foot over that threshold. <laughs> it's no good. I've tried to put it all behind me, but I can't. <laughs> if you prick me, do I not bleed? <laughs> if you... Um... Tickle us, do you not laugh? <laughs> Laugh. I've forgotten what it's like. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we should have just dumped him. Mm. No way they might hold more clues. Good thinking, Shaggy. You get Scooby to sniff and me and Belma will follow on in the mystery machine. Do you know you've a right sarcastic side, you? <laughs> how come I'm Velma? I want to be Daphne. And how come I'm Shaggy? Some lanky nomad with bum fluff and a very disturbing relationship with his great dame. Sounds more like your Chesney. Oh, flipping heck, I've seen better flowers outside Deb's in that same summer. They were left on the steps of the factory with this on them. I don't get it. We were wondering if it's some sort of sick prank, you know, because of Tony and that. Nah, no way. Michelle! She has a bit of service over here. Anyway, I'm more of a Fredney. You know, blonde hair, natural air of authority, wide range of jumpers. Hey, comes to something when a bloke has to come and drag his pregnant wife out of the pub. Sorry, love, last track of time. Oh, I thought we had a mystery to solve. <clears throat> uh, listen, you won't say anything to Carla really about the flowers. I mean, it's probably not to do with anything, but last thing she needs is everything dredging up again. Hey, of course not. Thanks. I'll chuck them if you want. Yeah, great. Somebody left the on the steps of Underworld. With this. Rest in peace. I still say they were for that bloke, Tony Sharp. You know he's a complex. Yeah, but you leave flowers on someone's grave. You don't put them where they died. What about when you see flowers at the side of a road after a car accident? Oh, it's beyond me, that. I mean, this is the scene of an accident at Harvest Festival. And then the other drivers, they slow down to have a look at the flowers, and then that causes even more crashes. It's one of them self-fulfilling... Yeah, what's it? I hope you appreciate I've been studying all evening and haven't once commented on the number of rum and cokes you've been chucking down your neck. You've been taking parenting tips from Ozzy Osborne. Yeah, well, you make sure you get something to eat tonight, all right? I knew it was too good to last. <laughs> Shall I bin that card or not? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably just a wrong delivery. No, I hope so. Otherwise, someone's got a very sick sense of humour. Beginning to believe it's true what they say. All the best ones are either married or gay. Uh, or sometimes they're both. Uh, or fickle, like Brian. Talk about blowing hot and cold. Yeah, shame that. It's not like I'm fussy. I live with Kirk. Mm. Hey, so did I! Yes, but now you found your Mr. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're not facing up to Christmas alone. Thinking of shoving your head in the oven alongside Fresco's festive feast for one. Oh! Oh, heck, not again. You don't think it could be a mistake? What? Somebody got the factory confused with the crayon? And after the other flowers? Why is it a C? People usually write a name or mum or dad. What do you mean, usually? Who usually leaves a wreath outside a knicker factory? There's a card. Ooh. When did that come? Oh, uh, we just got here. I think you should phone the police. Once is bad enough, but twice. No. But, but Carla would have to know about it, and if this is something to do with Tony... Oh, more reason! Maybe that's what this is about. Carla! No, it's probably just some practical joke. Oh, it's still sick. Julie's right, we should be telling the police. You just leave it with me, right? Just don't say anything, please. Well, what right have you got to just... Uh, it killed my brother, that's what right. We're shut, sorry. Oh, no, so looking forward to chops for me tea. Well, Graham's just out of the hospital and Ashley's not well. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, you know what men are like. If it's serious, they pretend it's nothing. And if it's nothing, they're worse than kids. You live across from Underworld, don't you? Yeah. Did you see how strange this morning? Janice Bass has been turning up on time. Ah! <laughs> At least twice a week when I'm taking the boys to school. There's Janice, little legs going ten to the dozen because she's late. She's not built for running this that one. No. Somebody left a wreath on the steps. Oh, I love! Hey. What are they for? I wish we knew. Ooh. A wreath at Underworld? Yeah. Mm. Weird or what? After them flowers? Well, could it be something to do with Halloween? Oh, mm. I don't 
don't think so. Did they leave a card or anything? Ask Michelle Connor. She took the wreath and the message. Yeah, it was all, leave it to me. I'll get to the bottom of it. Who does she think she is, though? Miss Marple? Oh, see, see later. I, uh, any joy with Tony's brother? No, I couldn't shed any light on it. This is all just going to bring everything back to the surface, there, so just when everyone was forgetting about it. Yes, John, what can I get you? No, don't let me interrupt. No, no, it's OK. No, um, well, I'll, I'll have a pint then, please. I know this sounds daft, but you don't think it could have been a harsh you, do you? Maria, it was a C. Right, and it certainly wasn't any good luck message on the card, either. Yeah, Fizz was telling me about this. Yeah, well, we think it might be something to do with Tony Gordon. It was a C? Yeah, as in Carla. Yeah, well, it wasn't for Tony or that Robbie Sloan fella. 270, please. Are you sure we shouldn't tell Carla just to be safe? Listen, if whoever's doing this is doing it to frighten her, then the less she knows about it, the better. What have you done with the wreath? Chucked it in the bin out back. The message on that wreath, um, does it mention Carla? No, no, it was weird. Something about a scholar, I think. Mind you, none of this makes sense, so why should the message? Quite. Not as eh? Mm. They probably had another woman or something. Something like that, don't you think? Come again? Oh, um, the flowers. I was thinking Tony Gordon, he probably had another woman on the go. Secret woman. She's leaving flowers for him. You know, memory thing. A bit weird, though, if it was Tony. People love bad people, too. No, I mean, what was that note about, then? Well, what did it say, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> here you may... Something about lying there. I can't remember. I've been in it now. See, it must be Tony. It does sound like Tony lying there. Flippy that, Inspector Morse. You missed your vocation, didn't you? Needing it solved. No, 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 I didn't. I don't. I'm mean, just... I was only, um... But it's not really. I'm just amusing. <laughs> oh, John! Our lives are over. What? Why? Because it really is real. It's proper happening. We're actually going to have a baby. I felt it move. Yeah? Yeah. It was really weird. Like fluttery. I wasn't even sure if I felt it. And then it happened again. I thought on Monday we're going to be told it's got a bed of duster in each hand and one between his teeth. Monday? <laughs> the next scan. Oh, they haven't got teeth yet, have they? You are coming Monday. Yeah, of course. Same again? Uh, well, I, I'm just... I'm Bob? Just... from now on, like I said in the first place. Yeah. Tina, I'm trying to teach you not to turn this into begging. Hang on, what are you doing? Leaving these. Who are you? Did you leave some here yesterday as well? I might have. Why? Can you tell me who they're from? Who's sending them? I can't, no. All they tell me is where to leave them. What, but, but, but they're from this florist, yeah? Yeah. Leave them on the steps, they said. Which is what I've done. See ya. Put your foot aside. Next one creaks. Oh! 
Oh, what the? No. What are you doing? We're just going. Well, uh, yeah, well, I can see that. Don't say out to Fizz, will you? Hello? What's happening? Why is everybody oh, up? Right now, everyone's going to know. Uh, no, it's OK. Um, does your dad know you're here? Not unless you tell him. So where does he think you are? Schoolmates. So let him go on thinking it. What harm is it doing? Well, she's lying to her dad, for one thing. Hey, what's all this? What have you been up to? Never mind me. Um, I just cut these two on their way out. <gasps> And I thought I could hear noises. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Only can we not tell Katie's dad? Yeah, because he'll kill me. And then he'll probably uh, kill me as well. Well, I don't know. Hey, don't look at me. Oh, why don't we all just calm down, eh? And have a bit of breakfast. I mean, where were you two going to go? Uh, school. A bit early, aren't you? Chesney, she's your guest. Get the two of you some breakfast while I go get myself ready. Yeah, OK. Mm. What are you doing up? Did you hear him? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, make you a cup of tea, shall yeah, I? Yeah, please. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I've got my 20 week scan this afternoon. Get to see Dave is properly now. It's a little face and everything. Oh, honest. Yeah, and then they give you a photo to take away with you. Oh, no. So, this? Why are you here? You've been here all night? You have, haven't you? You lying little. Yeah, well, I had to lie, so I knew you'd be like this. How'd you expect me to be? And you've known about this, have you? No, no she didn't. And I've got to go, I've got to catch my bus. No, you wait here. Katie! I've got to go as well. Hey, why don't we get together later, talk about this? I can talk to my own daughter without your help, thank you. Well, I know, but just come round after work. We'll have a nice cup of tea. We'll try and sort it all out. And that's all right. She's been seeing he'll be there, will he? He's not a tow rag, but yes, he will. Right, yes, then I will be there. And so will my 16-year-old daughter. So you can't tell me who ordered them, because you don't know. Right, well, thanks anyway. Bye. Yeah, I'm sorry about what happened before. What happened? With Katie. Oh, yeah, right. But we are probably seeing one another. It's not just like one night. Sure, yeah. Bye. Bye. Charlotte, I have to talk to you. And I mean, have to. So if you're not going to answer your phone, I'm going to have to come and find you at school, OK? Charlotte, listen, right? I'm here. You haven't answered, so I've had no choice. I'm outside at the main gate. And if you don't come out, then I'm just going to have to come in and find you. Which you might not think that I'll do, but I will. I promise you, because... Well, I just can't take any more of this. Mrs Stape. Hello, Fiona State, yes? Yeah. Well, can I ask you a favour? Only my husband said he'd meet me here and... Well, I don't know where he is. On his way, I suppose. Is there someone that can go before me? Because I'd really like him to be here. Yeah, I think we can manage that. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. So, if you'd like to take a seat again. Mrs Cooper. You never wanted to see me again. Why do you keep turning up in my life? I think you know why. I haven't a clue. And what you should know is I can't just walk out of a lesson. It's you who's been sending them, isn't it? Sending what? The flowers, the bouquets. It must be you, because you were there when we buried Colin. You and nobody else. Keep your voice down. What flowers? Oh, come on. Stop playing stupid games. What you try to do, scare me. I tell you what does scare me, that other people are going to start wondering and then they'll start investigating. I don't know what you're on about. Yes, you do! No, I don't. What's more, I've got to get back to a class. You don't know what it's like for me. I can't take any more of well, it. Well, talk to somebody else. Talk to your little wifey, but don't come bothering me. Wait! No! If you want to look at the screen... Yeah, I am. So is it all right? Baby's got a very strong heartbeat, which is the main thing at this stage. <laughs> In fact, I can put that on for you to listen to. Sorry, babe. Sorry, it's all right for coming. Where have you been? No, 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 where you've been. Look at that. That's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. What's that noise? That's your baby. It's its little heart beating. Isn't it fantastic? Makes everything else. 
unimportant. It doesn't matter. Ah, baby, eh? I never thought I'd ever see anything as wonderful as that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a sandwich, then I can get into work for this afternoon. Do you want me to make you one? Uh, yeah. OK, thanks. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you know Katie that was here this morning? You mean last night? Oh, yes! Anyway, me and her, we bumped into her dad, so he's coming round after work. For? Well, to sort of have a talk about things. Her and Chez. Oh, no. I had to do something, John. Else he'd have just come marching in and knocked Chesney's block off. Yeah, which he's probably going to do anyway. Right. Well, we're going to have to try and stop him, aren't we? Sure we are. Yeah, yeah. Where do we pull the photo of that scan? They're all going to want to see it. Oh, I think I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, cheers, love. Mm. Oh, and if you see Chesney telling me he hasn't got to go out till after Katie and her dad have been. Are you listening? Yeah. Well, what do I say? About Katie and her dad. Actually, I have to go out later. What? What for? Just a meeting to do with work. Well, you'll be here when he comes. She'll be. Oh, yeah. Good. OK, well, i better get off. Bye, love. Bye. You wouldn't talk to me this morning, but I'm not going to go away. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come round to your house to see you right now. And this time, I'm going to stay right on your doorstep till you agree to talk to me. So it might as well be sooner rather than later. Save us both a lot of trouble because I'm not going. Dad! Anywhere. Where are you off to? Uh, well, uh, as I said, I've uh, just got someone I've got to do for Peter. Well, it's going to have to wait because remember we've got Katie's dad coming round. Uh, well, but can't you talk to him? No. On my own. I'm frightened of him. You can tidy up while I'm at work. I don't want him thinking his daughter's been stopping in a dot house. Well, I'm going to have to go out later. Yes, but after he's gone, hmm? It is your house. You don't have to let him in. I invited him. Yeah, well, tell him you've changed your mind. We don't want to see him. You're going to have to talk to him sooner or later. Why am I? Because he's Katie's dad. So she might have to talk to him. I don't see what I do. Well, because... No, I don't either. Because you want to go on seeing Katie, don't you? Yeah. So you've got to show him what a nice lad you are. Though why are we giving him biscuits? Oh, because I'm trying to make it civilised. To show him that this is a proper home and not some drug den. And it might help if you put a clean shirt on. This is clean. Well, it don't look it. You know, you could do worse than just apologising. You're sorry about last night, you realise it shouldn't have happened. But I'm not sorry. Well, then you better hope he likes biscuits. I just don't get why you want me there. Because why don't you think? It's you that's caused all this. It's just to show me off. What I'm trying to do is show you what's good and what's bad, what's right and what's wrong. Since you don't seem to have the faintest idea. It's not wrong, I'm 16. I know you're flipping 16. And you know, because I've already told you, that being 16 doesn't make you an adult and free to make a mess of your life. Oh, God, you're here. Come in. <laughs> How do? Nice to see you. Sit down. Thank you. Now, what can I get you to drink? We've got tea, Nothing, coffee. Thanks. Come here to talk, not to drink. Oh, come on, you can have a cup of tea. As or you something. may know, I brought up my two daughters on my own. Not the easiest of tasks, and not made any easy when folks like to think of as neighbours encourage my youngest here to disobey my instructions and behave like. Well, I'm not going to use any bad language. Let's just say behave in a shameful fashion, eh? We didn't encourage anybody. We didn't even know she was here. Well, an house as big as this, you didn't know. We didn't. Which might make us stupid or blind and deaf, but we didn't. And if you don't believe that, then fine, don't believe it. You already told him you didn't. Yeah, well, I'm telling him now. Calm down, calm down. No, why should I? Nobody ever takes any notice of what I say. Or if they do, it's just to tell me I'm lying. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of this. I'm sick of everything. <laughs> All right, you didn't know she was here, except that. Thank you. Can I just ask you what your attitude would have been had you known? Well, we wouldn't want her disobeying you. Of course we wouldn't. So you'd have kicked her out? Uh, I think we would, yeah. Possibly. Right. Well, I'm telling her now, in front of you, so nobody's in any doubt. I don't want her seeing this lad again. So, are you going to back me up? They better not, or I'm going. Yeah, and I'm coming with you. Can you believe this? Look, Owen, 
We're not Chesney's mum and dad. No, but you're as near as he's got by all accounts. I want to know, are you going to back me up or not? Well, we wouldn't want Katie here if you're not happy with it. But we are talking about in this house. We can't lay the law down for what happens in the great wide world. All right, fair enough. But I'll deal with the great wide world. So you two, you've heard that. Whatever's been going on stops now and stops for good, OK? You can't stop us seeing each other. Oh, no. Chase, that is not going to help. It's true, though. What's true is that I'm your father and as such I'm responsible for your moral welfare. Listen, I'm going to have to leave you all to it. What? Do you have to? <laughs> yeah. Look, well, there's nothing more to say, is there? I think we're agreed that what happened was unacceptable and we're going to do all we can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, no more sneaking around, no. I think they both get the message. All right, come on then, young lady. I'm sure you've got plenty of homework to do. I haven't, no. Then I shall be ringing the school tomorrow asking why not. Bye, then. Bye. Bye, then. Well, thanks. What else could we say, Chesney? We could hardly defend you, could we? That's what happens now. We stop seeing each other. You really think that's going to happen? I will try not to be too late. Oh, you've not even had anything to eat. I'll get something. Oh, and this was supposed to be such a nice day with me getting me 20 weeks scan and everybody happy. Instead, we've all been arguing and now... Oh, now I'm left on my own. Yeah, I got your message. Come in. You know what I got? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. This. You know where it's from? Well, how can I when I haven't seen it? You! You sent it just like you sent the flowers! And how do I know? Because only two of us know what happened and I'm certainly not sending them. So who does that leave? So who sent this? You got it. I saw what you did. Is that what yours says? Sit down. I'll get us a drink. So, somebody saw us. What about the old guy from the newspaper shop? Norris. We bumped into him a couple of times. He got the police. He wouldn't send nasty letters. Then I know. Fizz. Hey? Blue sky thinking. Fizz is my wife. She's carrying my child. Besides, she don't know anything about it. I'm persuaded by your last argument. Whoever it is, they know who we are and they know where we live. Go on. No, that's it. I don't have anything else to suggest. Whoever it is. Norris. Fizz. Not Fizz. The question is, what do they want? To scare us half to death. Yeah, well, they've already done that. But, I mean, we've had the flowers, then the letters. What's going to be next? Any death threats? Sorry? From Owen. Oh, no, it's, um, it's just Bill's. Oh, then we're winning. Yeah. Hiya! You OK? I thought I'd seen a ghost. Just me waist slip. Ah, come on. <laughs> This is so dangerous for both of us. Whoever it is could be watching us right now. In fact, this is probably what they want. Two frightened rats hiding in the shadows. I'm sorry. I just didn't know what else to do. A lesson must be learnt before understanding dawns. Our friends become creative. Feels more of a threat than the others. Oh, you think? Just keep your voice down. Why should I? Whoever this person is, they want us to be frightened. Well, I've got news for you. I am. Do you hear that? I'm terrified! Yeah, I know, and it's my fault, but please, this isn't helping. You're not the one going back to a lonely house knowing one of these is waiting for you. Why don't you just come out and show yourself and put us out of our misery? Come on! Tell us what it is you want! I don't know. But one thing I am certain of is we need to stick together. Oh, John. 
Oh! I can't believe I've always slept. I was going to put that wash on and all. Oh, I can do that. Oh, tap, it's in there, in the laundry basket. <clears throat> Chairs, you had your breakfast? I'm going to get something at the market. Are you going to stay mad at us forever? From now on, we promise we will not interfere in your love life. Right, John? Yeah. Good. Flask. Where's my flask? What are them doing in the wash? They're not dirty. Well, they looked it. Well, they're not. Oh, I'll do my own washing, OK? Right! Suit yourself. You're not going for your lunch, then? Do you want to get rid of me, John? No, 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 no. No, um, uh, it's just, you always go for your lunch around now. Oh, yeah? Am I that predictable? Well, maybe I need to change my ways, eh? Go at half past. But I am, uh, I am quite hungry. I'll tell you what, why don't you come with me? I'll close up shop. I mean, it's not like there's anybody in, is it? Um, but... Ah, too late, you see? Should have bitten my hand off. Hey. I got your message. This is becoming a habit. I know, I'm sorry. So what's so urgent? This. What is it? It's a receipt for a florist. Yeah, well, I can see that. I found it in Chesney's pocket. You're not saying it's him. Well, it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? I suppose. He's been doing my heading all morning. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? He's around. Could have seen something. Maybe could have heard something. He could have come in when we were talking. Maybe he's even seen us with the body. I don't know. No, just calm down a minute. He was having his party in the cafe that day. So? What if you nicked back home to see Schmeichel or something? If it was him, wouldn't he have told Fizz or the police? No, well, I, I haven't been thinking about that. And I reckon he's doing it to torture me. He's playing with me, that's what it is. Waiting to see what I do. Light the blue touch paper, see what happens. You're winding yourself up. He's just a kid. Yeah, a kid who hates me. All the rosy stuff. And then finding out that I was teaching again. He's wanted rid of me ever since then. No, oh, it's him all right. You don't know that. Well, I'm going to find out. What do you mean? You can't just ask him. What if it's not? Well, I'll be careful. Don't worry. I just subtly question him. I can tell when kids are lying. It's too risky. You might give something away. I don't care. I need to know one way or the other before he tells Fizz. Hey, um, I couldn't knock off early, could I? Only I want to get some shopping in. Say Fizz doing it. Yeah, why not? I want to close anyway. Show size fireworks. Great. Thanks. What? Nothing. You're a bit over the top this morning. Eh? About your jeans. Well, I, I want to wear them tonight at the party. You sure there's no other reason? Like what? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. This. You've been going through my stuff? I found it in your pockets when I was sorting out the wash. Why didn't you want me to find it? I don't care if you did. I'm not ashamed of how You're saying I should be. Hiya. You two all right? Yeah, we're fine, yeah. No, we're not. He's been nosing through my stuff and he found this receipt. Doesn't matter now. Yeah, it does. You wanted to know? I'll tell you. I bought some flowers for Katie. There. Go on then, have a laugh. That is dead sweet, isn't it? Oh, don't be rotten. I think it's lovely. Sorry. <laughs> John! Stop it! Sorry. Just think, next bonfire night we'll have our own little nipper. Yeah. We can teach it to write its name with a sparkler. <laughs> Trust you to make bonfire night educational. No, I didn't mean it like that. I know. It's nice to see you in a better mood. Even if it was at Chesney's expense. I'll apologise to him tomorrow. Mm. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Who was that? I don't know. Just put the phone down. The kids! Messing about. Yeah. I reckon she's the murderer. Wow. Why? She's been in loads of things, eh? She's not going to be in rubbish like this unless she's like a dead important character. Good point. Well made, Fizz. 
Always, Where are you off to, Chesney? <laughs> Sophie's birthday party. On your own? Actually, don't answer that. If you are going anywhere near that, Katie, I don't want to know. Would I? Yes, you would. You know you would. Just make sure Owen doesn't catch you. You know what it's like. I can handle him. You and who's army? Julie for you. Shall I life pause it? No, you're all right. Hi, Julie, you're all right. Hey, guess what I had today? Uh-huh, uh-huh. A funny phone call. Really? What did they say? Mm -hmm. Nothing. There was just silence. <laughs> well, maybe it was the wrong number. Yeah, maybe. maybe he got cut off. No, I can hear him breathing. Not heavy breathing, just there, you know. Joking. Why would somebody want to do that? Oh, don't you get me a fright? Shall I pause it? No, I'm not in the mood for a murder. Yeah, bye, love. John, will you sit down? You're like a dog on a hot tin roof. Cat. Not from where I'm sitting. You look different. Right. That's me. I'll see you when I see you. No, if I see you first. Have a nice evening. Bye. I was right about the murderer. You were indeed. Yes. Shall I have the kettle on me? Cause another brew. Yeah, nice one. It's weird murder, isn't it? It is. I mean, on the telly, they do it all the time, but in reality, it's like... Hardly ever, yeah. Ah! What is it? What's the oh, matter? There was someone in the yard, I swear. Right, don't move! I can't see anything! Have they gone? Yeah. What's oh, hideous? Are you sure you yeah, saw... Two Beady eyes poking through the window. Couldn't have been a cat. John, since when were cats this eye? And since when did cats leave our gate open? Oh, call the police. What do they look like? I don't know, I just saw these eyes. Oh, John, it was horrible. Just when we were talking about murder. I know, it's strange. John, you're shaking. Please, call the police. Oh, it's just a bit cold. Come on, let's get inside. A nice cup of sweet tea, we'll be OK. Morning, blimey, you look rough. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit late. You on the lash last night, were you? No, no, no. No, no. So what happened then? Well, um, just woke up about four, couldn't get back to sleep again. <laughs> but wait till this new baby comes along, you'll know all about sleep deprivation then. Isn't that right, Ash? Not so bad after the first five years. Hey, a mate of mine's got twins. Oh, I'm glad I haven't got that to look forward to. One of them falls asleep and the other one wakes up. Of course, you know what they say about waking up in the middle of the night, don't you? It's a sign of depression. Really? So if there's anything on your mind, you're going to have to No, type. I just woke up because somebody was playing music somewhere. Yeah, ought to be shot. I'll see you later anyway. All right, cheers, pal. Oh, get that with me, John. Hello? Hello? Who is it? No answer. Oh, well, they'll ring back if it's important. 80, 90, 5, there you go. Hello? 95. You're going to ruin me. Who the hell is this? Yeah. Uh, Keep trying to sell him plumbing in John. It's just driving you mad. You all right, John? Yeah, I'm fine. Cheers, Dave. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Screaming and shouting like that in front of punters. I'm just a bit on edge, that's all. Oh, well, tell me about it. You've been like that all day. Who was that on the phone? Um, there was no answer. No answer? So that's what you do, is it? Scream and shout? Like I said, I'm sorry. People ring the wrong number, John, all the time. Have you never done it? Yeah. Yeah. Just get a grip, OK? Charlotte. Yeah, I need to see you. I haven't had any of that, but I'm still a nervous wreck. Yeah, but you wait till you've got a stranger prowling around your backyard, then we'll see who's nervous. It's affecting my work. Me too. You're taking bets off the unemployed. I'm in charge of people's futures. I made a howler the other day, got hauled in by the head. What, physically? Oh, you mean the headmaster. What for? Snapping at a teaching assistant during a staff meeting over a bowl of crisps. You haven't told anyone about the letters, though. All I can hear is my heart thumping. Unless it's his I can hear. Edgar Allan Poe. I've had the same thing. Let's talk inside. Somebody saw what we did. Well, why didn't they do anything at the time? Why didn't they call the police? I don't know. 
What's the use of flowers and funny phone calls? Blackmail. But no one's asking for anything. Well, somebody's getting something out of it. Like what? I don't know, Charlotte. Sorry. We can't let them win. Right now, I'd settle for a draw. That's what I love about you. You always retain that stapian wit, even in times of distress. Can't crack up now. We won't crack up. We've got each other. Charlotte! One kiss? I'm sorry if I give the wrong impression. Not asking for the world. It's all right for you. You've got fizz to keep you warm. Try sleeping in my bed. It's cold and lonely and I'm paralysed with fear. Begrudging me one little kiss. I thought my blood pressure might be up, but no, she said it's fine. Heartbeat's normal, the weight's normal. Basically, our octuplets are all doing really well and they're looking forward to getting their own reality TV show. What's the matter with you? Nothing. It's working, isn't it? I'm going to have a word with that Peter Barlow. Peter's great. Lucky to have a job. It's just... Numbers. Never gonna move a man to tears. Spur him on to war. Leave even make him spit his tea out laughing. Sorry, I'm banging on. They just leave me cold, that's all. Oh, you're like a 99 in summer. With raspberry sauce. <laughs> 16 lines in a sonnet. 14. The A646 to Ebden Bridge. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 122 is driving me mad. <laughs> That's how many days we've got to wait till we get to meet this little fella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chase, give us Andy with this lock. Uh, his fingers are dropping off. Is John not with you? Oh, he said he was heading home to make a start on tea. Oh, do you know, I only bobbed out for a few bits. Famous last words. Mm. Any news? No. Oh, trading standards tried to cop that fella selling our tweed jackets. What, are they not the genuine article, then? Oh, junk. Junk. Charity junk. Posh envelope, isn't it? Don't look like a bill. It'll be a posh bill. Anyhow, the jackets are made of tweed. And it turns out the bloke's name is Mr. Harris. The suits went home empty handed. <laughs> Was that Chess? Yeah, he's gone to Katie's. And I'm going up the wall. What? Your husband needs detention. I need justice. Came this morning. Cranks. Detention. They know you were back teaching. No, they know I'm out of prison, that's all. What's your own? Look, I've done my time. My conscience is clear. Poison only spreads if you let it. I'll burn that. Someone spent hours making no. that. People spend hours composing letters to the Daily Mail or building statues of Big Ben out of matches. Forget it, Fizz. I have. Oh, the grill! Mystery solved. This is a throwback to that Rosie Webster business. When you kidnapped her. But ring fenced. Yeah, it's got to be. You don't think they know about Colin Fishwick? No. John Stape, I am arresting you for giving young people a love of English literature. They would arrest you. And I live with that black cloud every day. I know. I'm sorry. But this is just a, a, a greening nut job who's got a pair of scissors, a pot of glue, and too much time on their hands. Do you reckon? Yeah, what, with that reference to detention? Definitely. Yeah, that rosy stuff was a lifetime ago. Exactly. File under N for nutter. But it was Rosie herself. Hey. Who sent that letter? I thought we were forgetting about the letter. Unless it was Sally. No, whoever it is, don't let them get to you, or they've won. Not if I go and face them with it. Name and shame. You can't do that. Why not? Well, what if you're wrong? You just start the whole thing off again. Jen, I'm not wrong. No, please, don't. We're settled here now. People have accepted us. Well, obviously somebody hasn't. The last thing I want to do is to open up old wounds. I don't think I could cope with that again. We've got no right, though. Whoever's doing it will get bored after a while. Please, just try and forget about it. 
Yeah. I suppose they wouldn't admit it anyway. Exactly. You're amazing. Hey. The way you rise above it all. My hero. Right, I'm off. Oh, by the way, someone posted that through the letterbox last night. I'll get it. Is it another? No. No, it's a, a sympathy card. Must be meant for the dots. Oh, right. I'll drop it into them later. Oh, thank you. Bye. Yeah. Have you had anything else? Shouldn't you be at school? I've been signed off with stress. How can I deal with 30 headbangers when all this is going on? So have you? Yes, yeah, there was a letter. It was addressed to Fizz this time. And what did it say? No, oh, don't worry. It was cryptic enough for her to not realise. Managed to think up an explanation. <laughs> and then last night, this came. You are in my thoughts. Passed this one off as the neighbours. They just had a bereavement, thank God. Well, you know what I mean. I had one as well. Exactly the same. Really? I'm going out of my head. If it isn't Chesney, who is it? Who's doing this? I don't know. I can't take much more. Can you come round tonight? I don't think that's a very good idea. Is this because of that stupid pass I made? No. It just... I think it's better if we keep a distance for a while. People will start to notice. My boss already thinks you've got a gambling addiction. I don't think I can cope without seeing you. You're the only one I can talk to. Look, they can't have that much on us or they'd have gone to the police. They're bound to give up soon. We have to just try and get on with our lives. What life? Mine's in tatters. Yeah, well, mine isn't that great either. I've got other people to consider. If isn't the baby, you have to come first. Sorry. What are you doing here? We need to talk. What, what are you doing? You can't just barge in here. There's lots of things I shouldn't have done, but thanks to you. This has only nipped out for some black ties. What do you want? To be able to sleep at night. To stop looking over my shoulder. To have the peace of mind that you seem to have. Peace of mind? That's the last thing I've got right now. Look, I told you not to come here. Well, where else can I go? Who else can I talk to? We've got to talk about these letters. I'm going out of my mind. Oh, Fizz, go on! Course clear. Hello? I thought you were at Jack's funeral. Obviously. It's not for another hour. You won't tell my dad, will you, please? Oh, don't worry. I was young once, even if it was on a technicality. Go on, I pretend I haven't seen you. Cheers. Hey. Fizz will be back any second. Quickly! We can't ignore what's happening, John. It's not going away. No, but you are. Oh, sit the kettle up. What are you doing here? We're just talking. Oh, you talked to buttons into undoing themselves, did you? Hey, I have tried to be reasonable, but this, it's taking advantage. John didn't have a problem with it. Hey? What? I never said that. You let us go upstairs this morning. What? Oh, I'll leave you to it. No, don't go. How can you undermine me like this? But they're only going up to his room. Oh, what do you think they were going to do, John? Play marbles? Thanks very much for showing me up. Well, you've let me down, Chaz. Do you know, maybe Owen's right. It's best if you two don't see each other. You can't tell me what to do. Hey, so long as you're under my roof. That's easy solved. I'm 16. I don't need you. I earn my own money. I don't need this house. I'm moving out.
please. Now. Someone's been in our house. That's our couch. I'm not blind. Don't shout at me. It wasn't you, was it? This isn't some kind of stupid joke. Don't be daft. Why would I do that? Well, why would anybody do that but they have? The ginnel. Switch it off. No, I want you to see what happens. It's somebody trying to mess with our heads. Yeah, and it's working. So switch it off. Why do you want to freak yourself out? Because it might be some sort of joke and I'm missing something. I don't know. Oh, it's too weird. And that's it. Well, I say we're in the place. Why? Someone's been in our house, John. Someone's been in our house and filmed it. Filmed in here, through the kitchen, into the yard, up the ginnel. I know. And over to the factory. What's all that about? I have no idea. Why would they film where I live and where I work? It might not be about you. <sighs> Someone's trying to scare me. Well, guess what? They've succeeded. I feel violated. We will. We'll ring the police. Where's the blinking phone book? I've got a good mind to dial 999. I'm not sure if this is the best way to sort this Someone out. has been in our house. Yeah, I know. And what are they going to do next time, eh? There'll be more than home movies, you can be sure of that. Oh, I'm going to ring direct inquiries. Look, the last thing I want is the police delving into my private life. Yeah, well, we've got our baby to think about now. Oh, hello? Yeah, can you give me the number for Weatherfield Police Station, please? Thanks. Think about this, Fizz. If my double life comes out, I could end up back in prison. And if we don't tell them, one of us could end up dead. It's just somebody trying to scare yeah, us. Yeah, well, they're making a damn good job of it. Oh, hello? Yeah, um, hang on, let me get a pen. Oh, yes, yes, that would be great if you could connect me. What are you doing? All right, you win. I'll go down to the police station myself and report it. What's wrong with the phone? Well, it could take forever. They'll have to send someone round. It'll take two or three days. Yeah, that's true. Right, if I take everything with me now... Good idea. Hey, no, um, why don't you stay here? You must be joking. Wait, are you too upset to be dealing with this? What if they come back while you're out? All right, um, uh, well, 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 ring Hayley, get her to come and sit with you. Yeah. We could be hanging around for hours. You get yourself into even more of a state. No, you don't want to harm the baby. Yeah, maybe you're right. So I'll be back as soon as I can. Where does it go now? Down the ginnel. Oh, my God. You get it? They don't go to the factory. I'll give you three guesses. Somebody must have seen us. There can't be any doubt now. But who? You tell me. I need a drink. Me too. What did Fizz make of it? She thinks it's all about her. Why else would it go to the factory? She must be going frantic. I had to stop her calling the police. Told her I'd report it myself. That's where she thinks I am. It's out of control now. Who could it be? If we knew that... Somebody who knows we got rid of the body. Someone who knows who he was. That I was borrowing his identity. When you think of it like that, there's only two people it can be. Me or you. And I know it wasn't me. Not that again. It's the first thing you asked. Well, I'm asking you again. Is it you? I know it sounds mad, but nobody else fits the bill. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. I've been getting letters too, remember? Could be sending them to yourself. What? Why would I? And how did I get into your house to make that DVD? I don't know. Well, I couldn't have. This is ridiculous. Hello? Who is this? Hello? 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 Just get out of my life, will you? And you think it's me? I'm sorry. I have stood by you through this. I've lied for you. Yeah, I know. I helped you get rid of the body. I went to his lodgings and helped you burn his belongings. I was wrong. I have heart failure every time that phone rings or the letterbox goes. And you have the nerve to accuse me. Because yeah, I'm at my wit's end. All I do is think about who we can be over and over. It's warping my brain. I thought we were friends. We are. I don't know how I get through this without you. Oh, you have a funny way of showing it. If he got into your house, then he could get into mine. No, I'm, I'm sure he won't. Oh, why not? 
We don't know the first thing about this madman. Every day there's a fresh surprise. We have to face this together. We will. Friends? Friends. Oh, what did they say? Um, well, they wanted that letter for a start. I felt right, Charlie, when I realised I'd forgotten it. At the risk of stating the obvious, I wonder if detention might refer to Rosie Webster. Yeah, could do, yes. So someone might still hold a grudge. You can't believe it's the Websters, not after all this time. No, well, perhaps not. Especially after Sally's cancer skirt. And after that money John gave Rosie. I would advise changing your locks. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, yeah. boy, I don't know what good that's going to do. They got in once, they'll get in again. But you're bound to be safe with this. And are they going to investigate this or what, John? Because you've still not said. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do they have any theories? Not yet, no. Um, but they've got that DVD now. And if I give them this letter, they get to the bottom of it. Open them. I'm eating my toast. You can have money in. Or socks. No, I don't feel like socks. Shall I open them, then? Just put them down, Chaz. All right. Your hair on. Oh. Co-op bank, happy birthday, valued customer, Julie. Do you know, anyone saying a damn deliver, but she's a stickler. Whatever. I hope it's worth the wait. She, she didn't mean to snap. Happy birthday. Don't look at me like that. I'm not. So I'm not a natural born liar, shoot me. Please. Where is CIDA? Where are the scene of crime officers? Our home's been invaded and they can't even get off the backside. I'll chase them up again. Did you show them that detention letter like you promised? John, this is important. Someone's got in. Say that again. I can hear noises. They're upstairs. You've got to come. I can't. The poker's gone. John! Wait outside. I'm ringing 999. No, don't do that. I'll, I'll be right round. Uh, emergency at work. There's an emergency here. Yeah, sorry, it's a burst pipe. If it gets into the electrics... Oh, the plumber! No, Jason's due any minute with the locks. You are not leaving me on my own. No, uh, give him a bell, G him up a bit. I'll be as quick as I can, I promise. What about your presses? No, there's nothing doing in here either. Are you sure it wasn't a cat? I haven't got a cat. What? Noisy neighbours? I know what I heard, John. But you're right. Whoever it was has gone. Without a trace. You've time for a cup, though, haven't you? Year seven are tearing up Fleetwood and I'm kicking my heels. Half a cup. <sighs> oh. Careful. Frown on your birthday, frown all year round. Alright, you go, three keys. Give it a stiff for a week or so, but after that, should be alright. Cheers, Jay. You're a lifesaver. Well, I've worked with Chaz. They do if you've got to fork out for new locks every time he loses his keys. Yeah, <laughs> it's just an accident. He won't do it again. It's alright, no complaints from the boss. All the nations, welcome to the Armstrong Retirement Foundation. Hey, boss? Yeah, whatever. You know, people used to tell me that your kid had his head screwed up. Yes. He He's on planet La La. As if he could support my daughter selling knockoff collars on the market. Not knockoff. <laughs> As if I'd even let him try. I'll do one, Owen. I mean it. I'm not in the mood. Just fling it up. Listen, you. All I want is the best for my daughter. All you want is the last word. Honestly, if she moved in with Prince William, you'd be moaning about the in-laws. That poor girl, she can't breathe. Out of order. Why is she so desperate to get away from you, then? The same reason Chesney's desperate to get away from you. Chesney's not my son. Oi, Fizz. Tell his lordship his shift starts at 10, not 20 past. Say that again, slowly. He's late. So, um, have you not been fixing a leak? You've not got any problems with your electrics? No, no, of course not. That'd be far too straightforward. What? Right, I'll tell him myself. He's not here, Peter. Well, there's somewhere that I need to be. When's he back? Your guess is as good as mine! I suppose you think I cooked all this up as well? Once I've finished sending loony letters and filming scary DVDs. I apologise for that. You must admit it's a bit convenient you get broken into on the very day you bake me a birthday cake. This is patisserie, Michelle. Well, buy me a birthday cake then. 
I only have to look into the window and I put on half a stone. Worth it, though. Well, go on, go on. Do you not get it? I need to go. Back to Fizz? No, back to work. Peter's great, but he's not a mug. Fine, go. Go. Look, I've checked your doors and your window locks. You're going to be all right? Something for your break. Raymond Carver. Sign. how did you... Your memory... Like an elephant. <laughs> Here. First winner of the day gets a slice. It's bad for me. Lots of things are bad for me. Cake, I can do something about. Five Coronation Street. That's us all right. Can I help you? Right. Oh, John! Thanks for answering your phone. At last. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's been one of them days. Yeah, it certainly has. This lady's come specially to see you. She thinks she might be able to help her. Oh, well, let's hope so. What's the problem? This is Joy. Joy Fishwick. Collins, Mum. Oh, yeah? Colin from Weatherfield High. How is the handsome devil? Well, that's just it. I don't know. I haven't heard from Colin in months. Me neither. And I can't understand it. Of course, when I finally tracked down one of his school pals, they said he'd been teaching in Rochdale and living in this house. Colin Fishwick living in this house? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm afraid you got that wrong. I've not even seen him, not for ages. And you've not heard from him at all? Not a sausage. He's a right one, our Colin. A teacher and he can't be bothered to put pen to paper. Oh, I take it you've tried phoning? Nothing. Completely dead. You haven't any more of these bourbons, have you? I have to watch my blood sugar like a hawk. He always calls me on my birthday, come hell or high water. Not this year, though. That's why I'm so worried. Hmm. You've honestly no idea where he is. Only I really, really need to see him. Hey, where did you get to this morning? Work. Oh, so our computer turned up here, asking where you were. Bit of a mix-up, that's all. Oh. Look, sorry if I'm distracted. It's just... Poor old Mrs Fishwick. She looks like she's in a right state. I know. I suppose we should tell her. There's nothing to tell. Yeah, about the last time we saw Colin. She's getting proper upset. No, we don't want to go dredging all that up. Yeah, do you want me yes, to open it? Yes, go on, then. She's already gone through all package. It's like a minesweeper. We just can't take the risk. Stick them on the plate. I mean, what if he tells her about me stealing his identity? She might go to the authorities. Shh, right. Oh, someone's popular. <laughs> 21 today. <Yeah>. Again. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You think I've got all the time in the world and then suddenly, bang, it's all over. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Last time I saw Colin, he was in fine fettle. Oh, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about me. My heart's on its last legs. Surely not. You look so well. You've got such a good appetite. The truth is, I might only have a matter of months. I'd hate to go without seeing him again. So many things left unsaid. Oh, I'm sure it won't come to that. Me and Colin have had our ups and downs, but when push comes to shove, he is my son. Do you know, you've got me thinking. About the last time we saw Colin, I'm sure he told us he was working in a bookshop in town. Really? 
I don't suppose you remember which one. It was one of the big ones. I know that much. There's only a couple, isn't there? Oh, thank you so much. You've given me hope. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to pick a fight. I know it's your birthday, but I need to know what happened this morning. It was something or nothing. You race out the door at half eight saying there's a leak at work, big emergency, then Peter turns up after ten saying you've not showed up. I leg it down there. Leanne's in a right state. Tells me there's water pouring out of this pipe in their flat. Their flat? Well, where was Peter? Why didn't he deal with it? He was um, taking Sam into the dentist or something. He didn't even know I was there. He phones me, where the hell are you? And I go upstairs doing your flipping DIY. Well, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Leanne expecting you to sort it. Yeah, I know. The right pain. But what can I do? She's my boss. Hmm. Yeah, right. I wonder how Mrs. Fishwick's getting on. Yeah. So sad, a pining for a son like that. I hope she finds him. It's a bit weird, though, isn't it, him not getting in touch? He's probably got a damn good reason. But his own mum, though. I've got one word to say to you. Silla. Oh, don't remind me. All sorts of things go on in families. We don't know one half of the story. Mm. Sad, though. It's like this one in here. We already love him or her, and we've not even met him, stroke her yet. It's just nature, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Chinese or Indian? Mm. Oh, no. Flaming hell, now what? Oh, bad news, I'm afraid. Why, what's happened? Apparently, a man turned up at the bookshop and beat my collar up. No! They said he was in a terrible state. All bruised and battered. Oh, but he recovered, didn't he? He got over it. No. No one's seen him since. Well, maybe he went back to Canada. Oh! Oh! Let's get you inside. Call an ambulance, quick. <gasps> All right, it's OK. I'll be fine in a minute. I just, just need my puffer. Your puffer? My spray. Oh, oh. Um, this one. Oh. I don't want to peg in it in our living room. What is wrong with you? Oh, oh. sorry. Oh, don't be daft. It's my little miracle work at this. Oh, you look better already. <laughs> the only trouble is it makes your mouth Awful dry. Stick the kettle on, John. Oh, lovely. Mm. Is the... Is this a sofa bed? No, definitely not. Try and relax. Take all the time you need. Oh, yes. Oh. My, my heart's not racing, but everything's going round and round in my head. Oh, yeah, you've had a nasty shock. Yeah. Somebody... Somewhere I must know what's happened to my Colin. Have you got any cabs free? Now, if you can. Brilliant. Thanks. Lovely house in Chorlton, you know. Had a little conservatory at the back. Yeah, we went there for a party once. So how come he ended up in a grotty B&B? &B? Who told you that? Well, the man in the bookshop gave me his address. <laughs> Did a moonlight flit, if you please. I had to settle the bill. No, with all that's gone on, I have no choice. I'll have to go to the police. No. You know what he's like. He's no stranger to a bit of ducking and diving. Oh, you've got a point there. He has been known to get himself into some right old hardy doos. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not on the wacky backy again. Turns him into a complete madman. True. Or it could be a woman. Who's to say he hasn't taken up with some married floozy again? No. I suppose I'd better let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, your cab's here. Oh. oh. You're right. Thank you. All oh, right. You've been very kind. Oh, don't forget your bag. Oh. <laughs> Me and Colin have lost touch before, you know. Yeah, I bet he phones you tomorrow. Yeah. But I've never come up against anything like this before. A complete dead end. 
That was murder. My nerves are shot. Yeah, tell me about it. I feel terrible. Poor Colin's mother all upset like that, and I'm the one to blame. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm the one who told that man where Colin worked. It's my fault he got beaten. You can't blame yourself. What if he was hurt really badly? She said he's never been seen again. You don't think that man could have, you know, done him in? Fizz, Colin turned up at the B&B, remember? Of course, yeah. Look, let's just forget about it. We watched that DVD, yeah? But nevertheless, Colin must have known we're the ones who sent that van round. You know what that means, don't you? All this weird stuff that's been happening must be Colin. I don't think so. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. You stole his identity. Borrowed. I was sort of responsible for him getting a beating. Bet he's going to blackmail us or something. I'm pretty sure he isn't. He's been terrorising us, John, messing with our heads. Because he wants revenge. Oh, that's not his style. He's not that devious. How do you know? Do any of us really ever know anyone? We can't bring a baby into this terrible mess, John. We just can't. We have to sort this out. How are we going to do well, that? Well, we'll have to track him down and make him stop. Hi. Hi. You've been up long? Long enough for this to go cold. Do you want another? You know the daftest thing? All this hassle, all this stress, just so you could spend a few weeks teaching. A few weeks. It's supposed to be for the next 30 years. Security for us, for our family. Yeah, we're really secure, aren't we? Colin Fishwick's stalking us. Not just you, but me and all. You brought that mad mare Charlotte into our lives. You pulled poor Brian from school into this ridiculous charade. And Chess, even Julie, the list goes on. I know, and if I could turn back the clock. And now there's poor Colin's mother. I thought she was going to drop dead on that floor last night. But she's an old lady. she got heart problems. Which we're making worse by the minute. And where have you ended up? Working in the bookies at the end of the street. I'll look for Colin. If I can get him on side again. John, the police are looking for our stalker. If they find Colin, he's going to tell them what you did and you'll go to prison. He won't come to You me. can't know that! What's up? I've just been talking to the police. Hey, what for? I wanted to withdraw our statement. You know about the stalking? So they didn't find Colin Fishwick. Oh. They didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't report it. What? What, the stalker? It, it's like you said yourself. If they find Colin and he blabs, then I'm done. I couldn't face that fist. No, John, neither could I. That's why I was trying to stop them looking. Small eyes, though, isn't it, eh? Never stop. No, but it will. I mean, it, it has. I promise. Oh, where have I heard that before? I've had a tip. Delivery guy from Dunstan's reckons it's a dead cert. Is that the bloke who gave you those tips last week? That's the boy. They were dead certs and all. One came last, the other came second last. Right, see you later. I'm, I'm going to be late. Um, I'm going to go and look for that friend. Right. That's amazing. This tip. Long lost pal. Over and all what? Colin's mother. I thought she was dead. She nearly was. It was like an action replay of Colin. I nearly had a heart attack myself. But what if she finds things out? Like what? There's nothing to find. There's a trail. There's always a trail. Something we've missed. Look, compared to this flaming stalker, Joy Fishwick is not a problem. Do you think she could be the stalker? She's a sick old lady. Well, she might be pretending. No. It's a coincidence, there's no way. Well, even if she only wants to find her son, that makes her dangerous. Well, we both know that's not going to happen. If you're right about how ill she is, someone bursting a paper bag behind her could be enough. You're not serious. The woman has a weak heart. No one would question it if she just dropped dead. That's a bit sick, Charlotte. Well, have you any better ideas? You must hate me. Of course I don't. You ought to. What I've done to your life with my selfishness. So many people's lives. Fizz reeled off the list this morning. And that baby. If I end up in prison, you should walk away from this now. Pretend it never happened. And what about the stalker, John? 
You might let me walk away, but they won't. We need each other. It's the only way. The only way we can get through this is together. Sean and John against the world. What are you doing? Nothing, no. So, um, are you going to carry on looking for Colin today, or is that it? You've given up? No, I'm going to carry on, because I am. You off then? Yeah. So I'll see you... Well, I don't know. When will I see you? Um, it'll be tonight. I'm in the bookies all day. Mm, try and enjoy it. Mm, I will. Hey, this business with Colin Fishwick, him sending his stuff, I will sort it. Be nice if somebody did. Don't worry. To mean? Because I'll tell you what I think it means. It means he's going to kill me. Just keep your voice well, down. While he kills me? Nobody is going to kill you. You said you were going to see to this. I am. Yeah, but yeah. when? Later today, as soon as I can. Do you mind if I keep this? Why? What are you going to do with it? Well, first, I'm going to find Colin. I don't care what I have to do, but I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to give him one last chance. Either all this stops, or I'm going to go to the police. And never mind what that means for me. Yeah, well, it's got to stop. Because that really upset me when I saw it. Yeah, yeah, which I can understand. You are right now, though? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Just let me know what happens. Yeah, of course I will. Is, uh, everything all right, John? Yeah. It's hormones, you know. Slightest thing she's in a state. Oh, all right, yeah. Look, um... I, was, I know I was late on Monday. Oh, no, you do. Forget but, it. Um, I, I was wondering... If I, uh, if I could take another liberty, get away for an hour or two late this afternoon. I like your style. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Yeah, go on then. Oh, cheers. Don't worry, I will not be asking again. Right. Time that well, I've only just got back myself. Look at this. Now read what it says on the back. Except, well, you don't need to, do you? Because you wrote it. Oh, we're not going through all that again. I've had this kind of thing sent to me before, you know I have. No, I know what you told me. Which was the truth. No, it wasn't. I found these in your desk. Chesney's keys. And do you know what else I found? All these little bits of magazines left from when you put those nasty little letters together. Yeah? You gonna admit it? Though, you know what? Doesn't matter whether you admit it or not, because now I know. So say what you like, it's not gonna make any difference. Okay. It was you. Well, I think you knew that all along, didn't you? Yes, you did. Because you're a game player like I am, and all this was part of the game. No. You knew, and you did nothing about it. And now you've decided that you've had enough, and it's time we moved on. Well, yeah. I think you're right. Everything gets boring after a while. Sit down. I'll get something to drink. What do you fancy? Red or white? You're mad, you know that. I'm only mad when I want to be. Sit down. I 
have a drink? I haven't poisoned it. Do you realise what you've done? Do you realise the state my wife's in because of you? Well, some games can go a bit too far. What's right? a game? Anyway, not like you mean. So, I'm sorry, is that what I'm supposed to say? I don't care what you say. What I'm saying is, it has to stop all of it now. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to hear from you. It's all over. Because wifey doesn't like it. Don't you talk about fizz like that. Well, why don't you just leave her? Well, you can't be happy with her. She's as thick as a plank. John, you deserve someone better. <laughs> like you, you mean? Yes. Look, you're here now. Why don't you stay? You don't have to go back. Ring her. Tell her it's over. I'm telling you it's over. I'm telling you all communication has to stop. If there's one more letter, photo, anything, then... Well, th th it just better not be. Or what? Never mind what. No, come on, John. What were you going to say? You were going to say, or oh, I'll go to the police, weren't you? Yeah? Only then you realised, can't do, can I? So what are you going to do? Well, I'll certainly tell Fizz everything. Everything? Including what happened to Colin? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no. And sit down. You look ridiculous standing there like that. See, what we need is a solution that will suit both of us. Or else whichever one of us isn't happy can walk straight out of here and land the other one right in it. Comprende? I just want an end to all this. Well, maybe that's what I want, too. So let's think how we're going to manage that. See, you go home and you've got somebody. I come back here and what have I got? Nobody. I don't see I can do much about that. John. But I'm not leaving my wife. I love her. She's having my child. So you're loyal, I know that. If you want somebody to share your life with, find somebody else. You know, I think that's the answer. Well, yeah, I think it is. No, not me finding somebody else. Sharing. Sharing? Me and Fizz sharing you. Oh, no. Yes, and don't say you can't because you're the expert. You can be John when you're with her and Colin when you're with me. Half the time with her, half the time with me. That's it. That's the answer. <laughs> So, you can see me during school holidays and some weekdays when I'm not teaching because I'm good for nothing then. Oh, and I play badminton on Tuesdays. And you can see Fizz the rest of the time. You really are bonkers. That kind of talk isn't going to help. And how do you think I'd explain something like that to Fizz? No, don't bother answering because I'm not even going to try. I love her. She's my wife and I don't want you. And OK, if you're going to go to the police, then go. But I'll tell you something, I've been in prison. I've done it once and I can do it again. Do you think you can? I'm going now. And I don't want to see you, I don't want to hear from you, not ever, OK? You're breaking my heart, you know that. What heart? You haven't got one. Right from the beginning you've been leading me on. Oh, no. Letting me think that there's something between us. I've done no such thing. And that you'd, sooner or later you'd leave that woman. Never! And if you thought that, then, well, I'm sorry, but I never even dreamt of it. So we understand each other at last, do we? I'm leaving this house and I do not want you in my life anymore. I don't want you calling me. I don't want anything to do with you. That's it! Owen, I said it's OK for it to stop anything. Hmm. That's what they're telling you, is it? No, not just them. Owen told me himself at dinner time. Oh, OK. What are they saying? I thought they had dreams of getting a flat or something. I think they woke up a while back, as soon as they saw how much they cost. So everybody's happy then? For now, anyway. Oh, yeah, I meant for now. We all know that. Happiness is only ever for now. Hi, Chez. Hi, Katie, how are you? Hi, thanks. Glad to hear you're going to be our guest. I'm going to go and get changed. What's going to him? Don't ask me. It's just when we're not being used to this, I've forgotten all the sorts of stuff I should have brought with me. Oh, we all do that. So, we're just going to nip back to mine while my dad's not in. How do you know he's not? He'll be in the Rovers. He's seeing Liz. All right. See you later. Yeah. Bye. So, now we've got a part-time lodger. Yeah, who's still at school. Now I'm the one wondering whether it's a good idea. No, we'll have to see. Hey, listen, sorry for the way I was when I came in. It's just one of them days. It's OK. Tell you what, I'll nip out later, get us a bottle of wine. What? I'll 
only want a thimble full. Well, that's what I was hoping you'd say. Well, it's Friday night. It's traditional. Uh. <laughs> no. What are you doing? Coming to see you. Well, you can't. I said I don't want I to see you anymore. I know what you said. But there are two of us in this, and I don't agree with what you said. Well, look, we can't talk here. Somebody will see us. Well, let's go for a drink then. No, no! No, we'll, um... Round here. Come on, we'll go around the corner. See, you might think Fizz is an asset, somebody on your side, but no. Fizz is a liability, because I can come round here and destroy your marriage. Destroy it any time I like. And that's what you're out to do, is it? No. No, I'm here to give you a second chance to save it. Just how do I do that? By agreeing to share. No. Half of you for me, and half of you for Fizz. If you really have to spend time with her, though why, I will never understand. Look, you mean you don't think she'll notice if I'm just not here half the time? Well, we can be a bit flexible. When I say half, a couple of nights, weekend here, weekend there, and once she's got the baby to occupy... All right. You will. Well, I don't have a lot of choice, do I? No. One condition, though. Go on. There to be no more letters or photos no, or videos. there won't be, I promise. Good. So, to start with, she can have you over this weekend, and I'll have you... Monday. Monday? After school. I'll, um... I'll try. No, you won't try, John. You will do it. Or else I'll think you've broken our agreement. In fact, I might even think you never intended to keep it. Yeah, OK. OK. So, give me a hug. What? Give me a hug. Sorry, that took a while. Well, it did. There's a woman in front of me, couldn't get a credit card to work. I don't know why. Crisps? Oh, thank you. Anyway, while I was waiting, my phone went off. Oh, you said I'm the only one ever rings you. Yeah, usually. But I've been trying to do something about that nasty photo you got this morning. Oh! Well, I said I would. So have you. Well, I've spent all day trying to track Colin down, leaving messages all over the place. And? Well, finally, I'm standing in Dev's and he got back to me. And has he admitted it? Well, it's not as simple as that. No, he denied it. Well, I knew he would. I've arranged to meet him on Monday night. We'll get it sorted then. Why didn't you just say to him when he rang you, did you send it? Well, because I want to say it to him face to face. I want to see his expression. Well, yeah. Yeah. Where are you meeting him? Um, Doncaster. Doncaster? Yeah, well, that's where he's living. And how long's that going to take you? It doesn't matter. The important thing is to get it sorted once and for all. And this time, I will. I promise. Well, I hope so. I still think I should come with you to see Colin. You can't both take the afternoon off work. And besides, I'm the one who brought this on us. I'm the one who needs to sort it out. If he's lost it, though, John, if he's mental enough to film the inside of the house... I know the man. Once I confront him with the DVD, threaten reporting him to the police, he'll back off straight away, I promise. <laughs> Trust me, love. After tonight, Colin will be out of our lives forever. Mm. Yeah. See ya. See ya. I've got us a couple of nice juicy steaks. Even made my own bernays. Taste. Mm. Lovely. Look, Charlotte. My last fella was a veggie. He'd sit at the table, giving my lasagna filthy looks and tutting. I can't stay long. Better open another of these, Colin. I'm sure they're making the bottle smaller. Are you really going to keep calling me Colin? It's all part of the game, isn't it? No, it isn't a game. It has to stop. It stops when I say it stops. Don't you forget that, Colin. Now, come on, grumpy drawers, get that vino opened. We've got a lovely afternoon ahead of us. So, these two lads are chatting at the back, not listening to a word I say. So I fix one with me painted evil eye and I say, 
What's the last thing I said? And he's all, I don't know. So I roar, get out of my classroom. <laughs> the state was gorgeous. So he slopes out and I look at the other one and I say, what's the last thing I said? And he roars, get out of my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, the whole class went off laughing. Could hardly tell him off after that. <laughs> Kids, eh? Funny thing, though, his coursework went missing come the end of term. Had to fail the lad. That was his uni chances up the Swanee. You're kidding. Claimed he handed it in. But they're very clear. No coursework, no pass. You ever find out what happened to him? <laughs> Keep up, Mr Chips. <laughs> I chucked it in a skip somewhere off the A54. Teach the little scumbag to cheat me. I should get going. Already? I've got to get back to Fizz. I've told you, I don't want to hear her name, not when you're here. Look, I've said I'll see you, but I don't want an affair. This isn't about what you want, Colin. Haven't you figured that one out? This stupid woman. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me? The stunts you've pulled. The DVD, the funny phone calls. Fizz was ready to go to the police. She wouldn't do that. Yeah, but I've had to tell her this is all Colin's doing. That's where she thinks I am now, reading him the right act. I'm protecting you. And yourself. Still. Thanks, I suppose. Yeah, and now I've got to go. Just another hour. I never knew you had it in you. We'll go out somewhere next time. He's big and strong, the man I love. Rising above the old town at the west end of Africa. What did you say? We got your beer in. Fridge, what happened? Uh, just laid it out. Told him how frightened you were, how we we're going to go to the police. And what did he say? Well, he just broke down, saying how sorry he was. He's not been himself. I think he's losing it. Oh, Chesney's keys. He couldn't give them back quick enough. He was in a terrible state. He terrified that thug will track him down again. He's going back to Canada. What? When? Tomorrow. He's in the middle of packing when I went round. Oh! Oh, thank God! So that's it. No more weird stuff going on. No more Colin. We'll have to tell his mum. No, he doesn't want to see her. She's going out of her mind, John! Look! I'll just say you bumped into him. We don't have to say where or where he's going, just that he's OK. Well, if you think it's for the best. I do, yeah. And then, once we've done that, we can put Colin out of our minds forever. Yeah? Oh, it's fine! Yeah, OK. All right. Look forward to seeing you. Bye, bye. Oh. Is she coming back around here? Yeah! Well, we told her all we know. I felt sorry for her. She'll be round at dinner time after she's seen a chiropody. Oh, well, don't mind me. It's not like I've got a job or a life. I don't mind dropping everything so I can give a private audience to Colin's mum. Who is at her wit's end, worried sick about her son, who you've seen. Yeah. I know. I know what. I just meant to be somewhere at lunchtime, that's all. Where? Secret business. I don't like the sound of that. Secret Christmas business. All right. Oh, that's different. Huh. So you saw the chiropodist then? I overpronate. He gave me these inserts for the shoes. Oh, sounds painful. No, 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 they do help. Don't ask me to explain why. I don't think uh, we're going to be much use to you, if I'm honest, Joy. But you have spoken to him. Yes, I have spoken to Colin. When? A few days ago. He rang me, out of the blue. He was only in the country for a couple of days. So he's not here now? He doesn't want to see you, I'm afraid. He wouldn't go into why, and uh, now he's gone back to Canada. For good? Hasn't left a forwarding address. 
Was he okay? Healthy, I mean. Yes. Yep. Yeah, um, I had hoped, after meeting you, to be able to initiate some kind of reconciliation. But as far as he's concerned, he's got a new life over there and he doesn't want anything to do with the old one. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. Here you go. Oh, it's okay, love. <laughs> I'm just so relieved. Alive and well. <laughs> and who knows, one day he might want to get in touch. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you doing this. I know you're busy people. You're welcome anytime. I only wish we could be more help. Can I ask, if Colin gets in touch again, will you contact me? I think it's unlikely. He was only here to type a few loose ends. But kept going on about um, clean slates and how much he loves it in Canada. I'm clutching at straws, I know. Mm -hmm. But it helps to feel I'm in your thoughts, even if I'm not in his. Oh, of course we'll ring ya! Oh. <laughs> uh, oh! I hope it goes OK with the baby. Thanks. Oh, come on, I'll show you. All right. yours hasn't stopped. Yeah, Peter wanted to talk about the Christmas rotor. I thought you were dead rude, actually. Hey? You couldn't wait to get rid of her. It was obvious. Yeah, well, it's just another reminder of how stupid I've been. Where do you think you're going? Upstairs. Don't worry, we'll be out your hair soon. We'll get a place of our own. Uh. That'll go down well with their dad. Right, um, I'm off. Mm. Oh, um, by the way, um, I've got to nip out after work, so I'll be late back. Thirteen texts you sent me today. Thirteen. How mad is that? Well, if you'd answered the first one, I wouldn't have had to send the other twelve. I'm busy. You can't expect me just to drop everything because you click your fingers. Oh, too busy to send a one-word reply. Busy. Or even better, if you could run to three or four words. Call you later, kiss. I don't bring kisses in a text to you. Why if Fizz found my phone? Then the whole truth would come out and you'd be forced to choose between us. I'd choose Fizz. Without hesitation, don't go down this road, Charlotte. I am not happy with this situation, Colin. Well, that makes two of us. I thought I could handle it, but I can't. I want more. You know the score, Charlotte. Why should she get everything while I'm stuck here alone? Nothing but ugly, bitter thoughts. This is my wife. She's carrying my baby. Oh, to hell with you and your precious family. Get out. Go on. I never want to see you again. No, don't go. I'm sorry. I know it's hard for all of us. I'm, I'm just greedy. I agreed. I come and see you when I can. Is this our first row? As a couple? Well, I don't know if I call us a couple. It's quite romantic, really. Should we go to bed and make up? No. Well, um, just a flying visit. Let's just... Talk. You can't make me wait forever. Oh. Oh, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just don't move as fast as I used to in the mornings. <laughs> hey, I was thinking, why don't we go out tonight? I fancy a meal at that Italian in precinct. Great. We might not get many more chances, you know, doing stuff on our own. Yeah. Mm. Except, um, not tonight. Why is it not open? Uh, Peter's asked me if I weren't late. What? Not again? He wants to take me through some bookkeeping stuff. Jan, he's taking advantage making you work all these hours. Yeah, I know, but it's his wedding next week. When he's on honeymoon, I'll be in charge on my own. Hmm. I hope he's paying you extra. Oh, yeah. He's paying. Promise you won't be angry with me. Why would he be? <gasps> so, you must be the elusive Colin Fishwick. We were beginning to wonder whether you really did exist. <laughs> nice to meet you, Colin. We've heard a lot about you. <laughs> Colin, this is Mum and Dad, Dorothy and Alan. This is Colin. Charlotte tells us how much you love teaching, Colin. Oh, yes. It's more a vocation than a job. I don't know what Colin would do if he couldn't teach. Oh, I feel the same about selling fridges. We take them for granted, but just think our life's been transformed by refrigeration. Oh, we'd have to buy food every day. 
No one would be eating ice cream in their own home. Dorothy wouldn't have any ice in her G&T at six o'clock. <laughs> then, Colin doesn't want to know that his fiancée's mum's an alcoholic. She's not an alky. Just a bit tipsy most evenings. Dad, <laughs> what's he like? Charlotte? Yes, Colin? Shall we clear away the plates? Oh, no. No rush. Let's sit and chat. I've just had a brilliant idea. Does it involve another bottle of wine in a corkscrew? Colin and Charlotte should come to us for Christmas dinner. Oh! No. Really, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, please. I'm a good cook. Where do you think she gets it from? Jamie Oliver, actually. Hmm. Oh, please, please say yes. Don't pester the lad. He's probably got arrangements with his own family. Uh, yet, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, son. You come in with me. Where are we going? Washing up. Your washer or a wiper? Uh, don't mind. Don't hold with dishwashers in our family. Work of the devil. Eh? Don't let her bully you, Carl. No. Oh, sorry, you don't mind me calling you, Carl? No, call me what you like. Well, between you and me, Carl, she's a bit of a control freak, always likes to have her own way. I suppose it's been an only child. You seem a, a decent bloke. I am a decent bloke. Not playing games with my little girl. No. Not a fool. No. I know Charlotte can be difficult. Not as if she's introduced us to many boyfriends. And Dorothy, oh, she's long since given up any idea of weddings or grandkids. So if you're not committed to this, please. Let her down gently. I'd hate to see her get hurt. You're right. Charlotte does like to call the shots. She's the boss. So, as long as she insists on keeping me around, I'll be here. I've no choice in the matter. Good lad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been so lovely to meet you. I feel like I've known him for years. Are you sure you can't come for Christmas? Come on, woman, put him down. You, take care of my little girl. Will do. <laughs> Don't let this one get away. I won't. Bye then. Bye, Mum. Dad? Bye then, take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How well did that go? I have never been more proud of you. I'll finish clearing up. Do you want a coffee? Oh, come on, you pigging thing! Well, why don't you try kicking it again? Oh, well, uh, hiya! What are you two doing here? I thought you were at work. They are. Lunch break. Anyway, never mind us. Why aren't you at the market and why is she not at school? I've got a study period. Yeah, and I'm on my lunch break and all. So we thought we'd just come back here and, uh Oh, study. Really? Is that our Christmas tree? Yeah. Why? It's bobbins, that's why. Oh, thanks! There's this bloke oh. on the market, Keith the Teeth. He's got some miles better than that. Well, we could pick one up. My treat. Well, I, I've been finished working a bit. If you hang on, I'll come with you. Oh, uh, you and Fizz can go have a nice day out. Nah, if we leave them alone, they'll end up buying the cheapest one. Well, let's do it in style this year. Oh, OK. Come on, give us a hand getting you sat with that. Oh. <laughs> nice one, you did. What? We could have had the place to ourselves and studied twice if you were lucky. Right, come on, put your backs into it. Well, it's all right for you. This way's a ton. Hey, try carrying a bowling ball inside you for nine months. <laughs> it's going to look brilliant when it's up, though, eh? Who said sizes and everything? I don't know, but I bet it would blow. <laughs> What are you doing here? We had a deal. Relax, cutie. Look, if this walked in right now, we'd be finished. Please, uh, go. I'll be round later, I promise. I want a Christmas tree. We don't sell them. You and Fizz have got a Christmas tree. Where's our Christmas tree? Well, all right, fine. Um, 
Look, we'll go and get a Christmas tree uh, 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 as soon as I've done. And then we can decorate it together. Absolutely. Oh, and we'll need to buy some tinsel and some baubles. Tinsel, baubles, you name it. I've never bothered in the past. No one to share it with. Lights, don't forget the lights. Oh, and a fairy to put on top. Yep, yeah, waving a magic wand. I hope so. <laughs> right, now get out of here, you nutter, before you sink us all together. Last Christmas I spent on my own. I'd fallen out with my parents. Did you bother with the dinner? <laughs> I had a Chinese takeaway and got absolutely slaughtered. Woke up on the sofa on Boxing Day morning feeling stupid. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots to do the same. Thank God I'm not single anymore. I don't think I could take much more of that. <laughs> Will you pick me up Christmas morning? I think it would make a better impression if you drove and stayed sober. Charlotte, I'm not really going to your mum and dad's. You do know that, don't you? What? Of course you're going, they're expecting you. You think I can rock up on my own after giving it the big build-up? Another Christmas where the boyfriend doesn't materialise because he's woken up drunk or gone back home to his wife or doesn't exist in the first place. Oh, I'm sorry, but enough is enough. What? This isn't working, is it? No. And I think it's time to stop. I knew it'd take its toll on you keeping the two of us afloat. I just didn't realise how quickly. Me neither, I suppose. Fun while it lasted, though, eh? Oh, fun? I've never had so much fun. Never could have pulled it off, though. Not long term. I'm glad you tried. I appreciate it. I really do. Oh, don't be daft. All I ask is that when you let her down, you do it gently. Sorry? It is Christmas. And technically, she's your wife. Just bear that in mind when you explain to her why you're leaving her. Of course. There's lots of single mothers out there and some of them do okay. Yeah. So as of tonight, it's just you and me. You and me. Quick kiss. Hiya. Hiya. I've just seen Tyrone. He seemed a bit better. I saw him earlier, you see. He looked glum as anything. Couldn't tell him and Kevin apart. No. He'd had his tea at the Webster's. He was saying how brilliant Sally is. He'll have had a drink, I expect. <laughs> no. She'd been reassuring him about something. I don't know what. Hey, look what I bought from the pound shop. The baby's tape. Shall I get on the tree? Why not? <laughs> this time next year, John. I know. We won't be a couple anymore. No. What? We'll be a family. <laughs> well, I'm going to hammer a nail in it if I can find one long enough. We've got an old cocoa tin full of them. I'll have a look, shall I? Yep. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting this up. Why? It's this Christmas when people do stupid things. Hey! And where are you two off? Thought you were stopping here tonight. Yeah, we will. We're just taking Shrek off a walk and then we're going to go back to mine and watch a DVD. He's got a better telly than us. And he's gone out for the night. <laughs> right, see you then. See ya! See ya! I'll get that tin. <laughs> I never knew you were a handyman. Well, anybody can hit a nail with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, let's get going. Uh, oh, oh, I think I've left my handbag upstairs. Yeah. Have you told her? Yeah, well, I said I would. That's not what I'm asking. But I can't tell if she's not here, can I? How do I know she isn't? Because I wouldn't be talking to you like this if she was. When will she be there? Soon. You'll soon be round here then, will you? Uh, yeah, should be, yeah. OK. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Right! I'm off! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, love. Have a good time. You too. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> What we said what we said was that you'd tell Fizz your marriage was over. And have you? Well, how can I when she's not here? Then leave her a letter. Leave her a letter and come back to mine with me. Look, um, come in. I want you to come out. Charlotte, I'm not standing talking to you on this doorstep. Come inside. I saw you kissing her, so I know you're lying to me. <laughs> Very Christmassy. 
<laughs> you have to give me more time. You've had time. Where's she gone? What? Where is she? Well, she's at a Hindu. She won't be back for ages. At the Rovers? I don't know. They might have gone into town. Let's go and look. If she's there, we can tell her together. No! Please! This will destroy her world. And what about my world? She is living a lie. Phone her. Tell her to come home. You've something important to tell her. Hmm? Fizz needs to know what's going on. It's bad news, I know. But it's like a plaster. It hurts less if you rip it off. I don't want to hurt her. Well, you should have thought about that before you fell in love with me. I know. Look, I've done it again. I've got myself into a right old pickle. It's what you do best. <laughs> and I get myself out as well. So, why don't you just go home and give me time to think so I can sort it out? No. Don't do this to me. Do what? Treat me like her. Send me away so you can make plans behind my back. I know you. Better than anyone. Because you tell me the truth. You always tell me the truth. I do, yes. And the truth is, you have to give me more time. No! The truth is, we love each other and we should be together forever. That's the truth. That's the truth! Please don't cry. Oh, I'm sorry if my emotions are inconveniencing you. I can't help it. I'm a passionate woman. I feel things very deeply. Yeah, but you can't be passionate here. Why don't you go home and, and I'll come round as soon as I'm free. Free? And what does that mean? Free to be with me forever or free for five minutes while Fizzy Wizzy goes to the shops? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not helping, am I? Charlotte. You are a strong woman, a remarkably intelligent woman. Deep down, you know this is not going to happen. What are you talking about? I love Fizz. I married Fizz. We're having a baby. You and I, we've been on an, an incredible adventure and we'll always share a special bond. But we're never going to be together. It's time to stop playing games and go back to our real lives. You are my life. No. Yes. You've just got cold feet, that's all. No. I don't love you, and I never will. You love Fizz? Yes, I do. Have you told her about us? About Colin? I've told her the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? No, of course not. Then your whole relationship is based on lies. She loves me. She doesn't know you. You're a liar and a cheat. You're responsible for covering up a man's death. I'm trying to be a good man. Oh, you're failing spectacularly. I thought you wanted to help me. You want me to help you? Oh, I'll help you. You want to be a good man? Well, good men tell the truth. So let's tell Fizz the truth. Then you can be the good man she thinks you are. Let me go! No, please! Get out of my way! Or do you beat women up now on top of all your other crimes and misdemeanors? Charlotte, please, calm down! We talk about this! If I can't have you, then I've got nothing to lose! Let's tell Fizz everything and see what happens! Put the hammer down! Oh, what? Charlotte! Charlie! It's time to tell Fizz the dirty truth about John Stay! No! Sorry, mate. Uh, your wreath was on the floor. Cheers. You've not seen Max, have you? Uh, the fair-haired lad about, so I... No, I've been out, sorry. Well, if you see him, could you let us know? Yeah, sorry. I've got stuff to do.
Okay, we're all right. We're 